one all in action figure fan, Sentex Collector here with a quick review for Madam Hydra, Marvel Legends. Picked this up at Ross a while ago. There we go. Six bucks. Figured it look good with the rest of my Hydra team that I have on Cobra. Uh, there's the UPC. But I want to mix the Hydra with Python Patrol. I feel like those colors mix really well. So let's open her up and get into this. So it looks like she is part of the controller wave. Here we go in the plastic. Let's go ahead and crack her out. Alright, here we go. So yeah, she's a real skinny figure. Let's take a look at the accessories. Here's the right leg to the controller. Build a figure. That'll go up on eBay, so I don't need it. She got a closed set of hands for punching. And then she's got... Two pistols. Grip on the pistol is kind of interesting. But and they're kind of flimsy because they're little, right? And then she's got two holsters here. Each holster has the Hydra logo on there, so it looks really good. She doesn't have any Hydra logos anywhere else. And if we look at the articulation, we got foot movement, ankle movement, uh, no lower leg, double jointed knees, upper leg movement, and good leg movement, restricted. There, and then there's no, the waist piece isn't separate, it's like all in one here. And then she's got yeah, articulated wrists, which obviously swap out the other hands. Single jointed elbow, uh, no upper, no upper arm movement there. No butterfly joint. Then her arm movement's restricted because she's got this hair in the way. And then she can't get 90 degrees, so she's got that, but can't really move her arm around because her hair gets in the way on that side. And then this side, we do have movement. And the head sculpt probably pretty good. The hair. Probably use this head sculpt. I should have bought two of these to have an extra head sculpt. You could always repaint this hair and use it for a different figure. And then the waist. She, again, she has like no, like it's not an actual waist piece here. That means she has no waist movement. Got upper torso movement slightly. And then up down in the torso. It's interesting how they designed her compared to other female figures. So she got movement that way, but she has no waist, no left, right. Head movement restricted again because the big old hair piece. I mean, up, down, left, right, it's all pretty restricted because they're. So articulation isn't great on this figure, but again, I just got to just kind of throw in with the Hydra team. But let's take a quick look at her at another angle here. All right, here she goes with the Hydra Soldier coloring. She's actually lighter. This came from a Hydra 2 pack a few years ago, so she's a little lighter than the Hydra Soldier. And if we compare her to another Hasbro female this time, classified Zorana, 
Yeah, you can say she's, she's real dainty. I believe she didn't have like high heels like some of these other Marvel Legends. It's about the same height. But yeah, everything's real. Cause even in this on Zorana, you got. I guess her too. You don't have like. Oh yeah, she does have like a waist. So this must have been a definitely an older figure. And lastly, just for size comparisons, big old it's a male Valiverse Bone Collector. So she's probably not too much smaller than the male figure, but you can just definitely tell she's really dainty compared to even the Zorana female figure. And here we go with the Python Patrol. Like I said, I just felt like it would be a cool team to blend with Python Patrol. And I saw I just felt like the colors matched. But there we go. There's the Madame Hydra. Like I said, I'm not a Marvel Legends collector. I just bought her to throw in with the rest of Hydra. I have like a Hydra co-op team within the Cobra organization. I thought there would be a cool blend in with um, Python Patrol. But yeah, guys, that's it. Madam Hydra, like, comment, subscribe. JJ out.